So in this recording, I wanted to demonstrate how a agency architecture, which is uh, which uh, implements the reflection concept, how it helps to provide a better answer based on a longer context, right? So although these models are gradually uh, enabling larger context window, um, what I have seen is even with larger context window, if you give a large context, the model sometimes does not consider all the context to answer. It will, it will drop some of the concept uh, context, right? So using a reflective agent, how we can make it better is what I'm going to demonstrate. So for that, I have a context like this, which I created using GPT-4 uh, again, right? Where I uh, just asked GPT-4 that I want to uh, open a bank account. Please give me the procedure to open a bank account and ensure that it has 24 steps, right? So it did. So I... I basically synthetically created this context. It's a huge context, right? Almost, uh, I think 22 steps, the last two steps I, I removed. Uh, so there are almost 22 steps and the, the way this has been created, if you see, there are scenarios also, right? So there are sub steps and then there are scenarios, different scenarios. Um, the procedure to open a bank account will be different, right? And I've seen like, usually if um, you give this to a model, sometimes it will uh, miss some of the sub steps or sometimes it will miss uh, the scenarios itself. It will just give you the steps, right? So the first option that we'll see is where we will run a single LLM with a prompt, like please answer based on provided context only. Please do not miss any part of the provided context, right? So even after giving this, you'll see that through this prompt, through a single um, LLM, it, it still does not consider the entire context to answer it, right? And um, I'm using Mistral uh, Large here uh, for this. Uh, I found Mistral Large is actually doing a good job in then structuring the answer also better, right? The second option is where we'll run this first, right? But whatever answer comes out of that first, we'll give that answer to another uh, Mr. Large uh, LLM, where we'll say, please do not miss any part of the provided context. You earlier answer, answered the question as below. This will be my earlier answer. And the context for this was this. And then I'll say, please regenerate your answer so that all parts of the provided context is included, right? And we'll see how this, how the quality of answer actually improves uh, in option number two, right? So let me go to the code. Okay, so how the code is, let me remove this, right? So first, uh, let me go through the code first, right? So this is the context, right? You'll, you'll see that this is a pretty large context. Right, and I'm using the Mr. Large uh, latest. This is a pretty large context, right? Almost uh, 22 steps that I just shown, right? Yeah, 22 steps, right? This is the context. This is my uh, option one prompt. Please answer based on provided context only. Please do not miss any part of the provided context. My question is how do I open a bank account? And the context is the context, right? In our option two, we'll use this. Right now, we'll not use this. So this is the prompt. And then uh, this is the uh, generate response where I give the prompt, I give the context, and uh, default review equal to true. Um, when we run it, we'll mark review equal to false so that it only runs the first prompt, right? Um, so... Um, with the initial prompt, I get the initial answer. Uh, in this, 
option two when we say review equal to true then what we'll do is this initial answer will give it to the review agent which is uh, again based on investor large right and we'll ask that agent to review the question and see if the entire context has been uh, considered right so this is this is the code so and and this is what uh, so if review it calls the review and generate response where it takes the initial answer and the context reviews it and then if it is not uh, considering the entire context it will rephrase the answer so first run, run without review review equal to false right and we will also go to um, Langsmith to see how it runs. So I already ran um, this once, but we'll run it again with the same project name. So, we'll, we'll, uh, so right now we have uh, this in the project name. So let me actually change the project name so that I think the project name is, uh, yeah, it is project name, right? So let me give the project name as we'll say uh, generate a response with review zero one put it in both places here also right so that I don't use a default in which is mean my dot env right let me run this this is with review false Right. Let's see if it is created the project. Oops. Yeah, so it has come in. Generate review, response with review. And it is still running. So what I've seen is um, Mistral is almost taking 56 seconds to actually give me an answer. That probably is because it's kind of on demand inference engine, but it is taking almost a minute to respond to it. So we'll wait for the response. We'll see how it gives, okay, the response is given. So if you see here now, it missed all the scenarios. It gave me the steps only, right? So if I go here, right? Compare national, regional, online bank, review customer, assess the bank's presence and ATM network, it added it. Uh, it added this, but actually did not consider the scenarios. Um, it uh, did not give me a detailed answer on the scenarios. Same it did with the step two. Uh, the scenarios it did not give me right. And if I go to Langsmith. Okay, so uh, by mistake I put with review the name. Actually, this is the this is without the review, right? Um, so if we see it, so input was the prompt, right? This was the prompt. This is the context, and uh, we got this as the output, right? So this is the output we got. Now we will run this again with a different project name and with review as true so let me say this is two this is two and this time i'll say review true so what happens when i say review true then it will not immediately give the initial answer initial answer it will give to the visual model again and say please ensure look back right whether you have uh, considered all the context right that's how our review prompt is right so if i look at the review prompt the review prompt is please do not miss any part of the provided context you earlier answered the question as below and the context for this was this please regenerate your answer so that all parts of the provided context is included right we'll see the change now so again it will take some time it will take more time now because it will have to first generate the answer and then uh, send it to the review agent so close to uh, more than a minute now it will, it will, it will take. Right? And, and this is uh, another thing we need to keep in mind, right? So where to use which type of 
pattern, right? So if latency is important for me, even if it gives me good accuracy, I probably will not be able to do it. So that's why I say that uh, technology cannot alone solve a problem. Technology needs to be blended with process and human uh, uh, intervention. So there is a way you can still improve the accuracy. Um, and probably that would be a talk for another day uh, where technology along with process and human intervention, you can improve the accuracy. In fact, in that uh, we bring in memory also, uh, which the memory is a part that I'm reiterating multiple times in multiple of my blogs and recordings that memory is going to play a big role in making this response more consistent, making the system more uh, deterministic, right? More faithful, more deterministic. Uh, if we just rely on LLM, it's not going to be consistent because by design, they're stochastic. By design, they're probabilistic. Any probabilistic, any stochastic uh, type of solution uh, cannot guarantee you consistent response. That's why I see that memory is going to play a, a key role in, in making the responses more consistent, right? Uh, so now it has given the answer. So if I now look at it, if you see it has considered all the context, it has included the scenarios, right? All the scenarios, right? It has included. I got a much better answer, although it was uh, the latency was more. And if I look at Langsmith, I'll see here now there were two. Uh, so the first was a generator. There are two calls, generate answer, where it uh, created the initial answer. This initial answer was then given as input to the review part, right? This was the, oops. So this uh, input was initial answer. And the context, I think, yeah, this is the context, right? This is the context we gave, and we got the, we got a much better output. Right? This is what I wanted to show that why uh, breaking tasks into multiple smaller tasks or adding a reflective uh, task in, in the flow helps to improve the response, but uh, at the same time, the latency also takes a hit. So any use case needs to do a uh, very uh, careful consideration of three things, accuracy, cost, and latency. The intersection of this, right, is what we need to look at to, to find the right um, solution for us. That's all I wanted to share as part of this recording. Thank you.